Yo, how's it going guys? It is Camden here and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to look like a legend in Prodigy. Alrighty guys, so a few weeks ago I made a video called How to Look Cool in Prodigy. It got almost 10,000 views so you guys really seem to like it. So I am back with another video on how to dress up in Prodigy. Now before this video starts, if you want me to make another part of this series, let's hit 700 likes. So hit the like button right now and also make sure you are subscribed subscribe to my channel YouTube's been kind of buggy it's been unsubscribing people and a lot of people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed so go down hit that subscribe button to help me reach 50k but without any further ado let's get into the video alrighty so starting off what does a legend in prodigy look like now it's actually more simple than you guys would probably think a legend wears fierce outfits a legend looks fierce a legend looks cool you kind of combined a bunch of different things into each other so let's start off with probably arguably one of the most important parts and that is your chest plate so the chest plate i'm using right now is the draconox gear of course and why did i pick this well let me choose another outfit like the jester's robes okay if you saw me walking around like this would you think i was a legend <laughs> <laughs> no, obviously not. However, if I go on and I put something like the Mira's robes, for example, there you go. I'm looking like a legend. So the main tip for this part um, um, of the outfit is basically just look fierce, okay? Fierce is key when looking like a legend, but the style comes in when we talk about the hat. So let's get into that next. All right, talking about the hat. Right now, I am using the Deluxe Holiday bow and the reason i'm using that is because this shows my hair now in my opinion prodigy legends always want to show off their hair so let me give a few examples of a good hat versus a not so good hat so starting off with the lady yeti mask like look at this do i look like a legend at all no of course i don't because you can't even see me now let me give an example like the bandana look at that you see my hair you're looking cool you're looking fresh this could actually be looking cool in prodigy but it's looking like a legend in prodigy but just like that you've changed your outfit from you know blocking your hair to looking pretty cool Alrighty, moving on to the wand, and this is pretty self-explanatory. The cooler your wand looks, the more of a legend you're gonna look like. So for example, if I took the splat hammer, like, like this looks something that you'd use at a carnival, you know? It's not that cool. But if I go and use something like the fire wing, look at that, okay? That is a fire bird on a wand. Let me give one more example. Something such as the, like, like the rock guitar look at that right there that looks amazing and that would definitely help you look like a legend so all i'm saying essentially is you want to make sure you have a wand that looks cool not childish make it look fierce now for the boots of course the boots don't really matter i would recommend the duelist boots as those are the best and you know if you're wearing the duelist boots people are gonna think you're good but if you're not wearing the duelist boots people might think you're a bit of a noob so definitely wear the duelist boots if you have them but let's get on to the next section alrighty let's move on to the hair now the hair you know it is pretty important and why do i say that because no offense to anyone wearing this hair but if you wore this type of hair would you look like a legend no you want to wear something like the hair i have right now which is called the double cross it's got that flair it looks neat but also stylish at the same time and more importantly is the color so personally i like kind of out of the box colors so like green would look cool pink especially i really like and blue but you know i wouldn't go for just like blonde you know like my hair in real life is blonde but in prodigy i want my hair to look extra cool so i would stick away from normal hair colors and go for that out of the box look like even light green that looks amazing guys but um i guess let's move on to the eyes now basically the trick with the eyes is just not to choose weird looking eyes like like sneaky like you look weird with these eyes and happy you just look kind of weird so that's why i go with joyful it's just nice and chill they just look like normal eyes like some of these people they just i don't know they don't look the they don't look the best possible so that is basically how you go with the eyes 
Now guys, one more thing is going to be your buddy. As you can see, I left the buddy open right now just to show you some few examples. Now of course, if you really want to look like a legend, I recommend using an epic. As you can see, when you walk around it follows you and literally everyone will be going crazy if you have an epic. Now, there are also some buddies that anyone can get that I think personally are pretty cool. Like the Lucky Rat, you know, it's really small, but it actually shows that you're a legend. Just, just the way it looks, okay? I don't know how to explain it. It just looks really cool. And also, I can show you one more example of a pretty cool buddy, which is the Reindeer. And why the Reindeer? Well, this is a seasonal buddy. So you can only get it during Winterfest, which will definitely show people that you have some Prodigy Legend material. Of course, guys, finally, the Relic. You know, the Relic, I like to go with Fire, I guess. If you really wanted to look like a legend, I'd go with Fire, a powerful Fire Relic. But Ice works too. Literally, almost any Relic works. So that really isn't a huge deal. Now, guys, finally, to end it off, you know, the main important thing is that your entire outfit fits together, okay? You could have all these cool items, but if they don't, Fit well together you know it's not gonna be that good of an outfit if I'm gonna be honest so here's what I recommend you guys should do so take a color scheme for example okay so I'll be using the red color scheme and I'm gonna make a quick outfit for you guys that would I would consider to be legend so using the Draconox gear now I did say the the, the boots you know, the duelist boots are definitely cool, but if we're going for an all red theme, I might switch it up with some also cool boots, such as the Virtum boots. Now, also for a buddy, I want to match it up with Magma Ship, because that's red. I'm also going to go with the Fire Relic. Now, here's what people forget, okay? You gotta get that hair. So, I'm going to buy some dark red or even fire red hair. Well, I can't, but I'm going to go with some dark red hair. As you can see right there, now look, I got an all red outfit going. Did you catch that, guys? I'm not done yet because I have to remember to fix my eyes. So I am going to go um, with the red eyes. You know, they do look a little bit pinkish, but there you go. As you can see, we have an all red outfit, and it is legend. And the best part about this by far is that it matches. That's what you guys have to remember. It matches, it looks fire, it looks absolutely incredible. Now guys, I'm gonna be showing you one more combination. I'm gonna go with the blue real quick and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put together a legend outfit if you're as experienced as me. You know, I'm not the best, but I can design some outfits pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go fast and I'm probably gonna choose the ice relic. Now also, again, you have to remember, you gotta change that hair and those eyes. Those are the most important part. So I'm gonna change my hair to light blue to match it. And of course, my eyes, I'm gonna change to blue. Now, I actually am gonna change something because as I said, legends like to show their hair. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna choose one that shows my hair a bit more, you know? gives it that bit of an extra spice to it. And so I just need to search around and find one that I think would fit with my outfit. So I'm looking through and of course, I'm going to choose the Ice Tooth Dragon Crown. Look how good this outfit looks. It's mostly blue. It has a hint of red, but definitely trust me guys, if I saw someone like this, I would definitely consider them a Prodigy Legend. Now guys, I want to get into a quick battle with my new Prodigy Legend gear. So we are, we are wearing blue, so I'm going to go into the blue Shiver Chill Mountains. Can I give it that vibe? But as you can see guys, right down below, is this a good outfit? I think it is. So let me know what you guys think. All right, so I guess it is go time, folks. Let's go and let's do a battle with this brand new legend armor. Now, if you guys are going to use this guy to build your own legend armor, make sure to tell me in the comments, guys. That would definitely help me out a lot so I know if you guys use my tutorials. Alrighty guys, so that is going to about wrap it up for today's video. How to look like a legend in Prodigy. Just some main takeaways from this video. 
one have your outfits match you know nothing screams legend more than a matching outfit Two, make sure to show your hair, you know, show off those waves in your hair. That's definitely going to get people scared and consider yourself a legend. And three, wear some fierce clothing. Nothing, nothing at all scares someone away than some fierce clothing that matches and also shows your hair. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up down below, as well as subscribing to the channel. Help me out a lot. Help me reach 50k. Now, guys, if you want to know how to dress better in Prodigy, I've made one tutorial on this on how to dress cool. Today, I taught you guys how to dress as a legend, but it's that simple. So yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.